yeah we'll be mortals all right we'll be the people who everybody want to be we'll be sinless we'll be um all powerful our, our, our nation are just kings and priests so when we underneath a new covenant when we sit once we sin less we ain't gonna die no more we ain't gonna have no cause to go into because why are we suffering because of our sins so we ain't gonna have no cause to go into slavery no more but the ones who put us there are going and be there all right the scripture tells you that in um, the book of uh, Isaiah the eighth chapter <coughs> Isaiah the eighth chapter and the fifth verse or the thirteenth verse, sorry. Um, no. It's so long in the other scripture. Eh? <laughs> Isaiah five and thirteen. Ah, yes, correct. So it says, Therefore my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Alright? Because we wasn't knowledgeable in, we, in, in the Lord. That is why we went into slavery, because they have no knowledge. And their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore hell had enlarged herself, which is a scripture we use to prove that hell ain't no place underneath the earth. Hell is just a condition, all right, of rigorous slavery, all right? <laughs> that is what hell is. Hell ain't no place underneath the earth where you're going and burn forever and ever, okay? That is no hell. Yeah, hell is hell is a harsh condition on the face of the earth. That is hell. Therefore, hell had enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure because. It getting ready to to receive a, a, a people to put in the in that condition which was the Israelites. Getting ready to, to receive we and put we in a condition where you know it's going to be very very harsh penalties upon us. All right. So it says hell had enlarged herself and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory and their multitude and their pomp. All right, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. Who, who rejoiced at, at us going into this uh, um, um, condition on the face of the earth? The Edomites. They rejoiced. All right, they were they were so happy to see us, the Israelites, going to such a harsh condition on the face of the earth, they were joyous, they were ecstatic. But it says, he that rejoices a child will descend into it. And the mean man shall be brought down, and the mighty man shall be humbled. Which is easy, the might, and the eyes of the, of the lofty shall be humbled. Alright. So they're going on going to captivity. This is this is this is their last hurrah. This is their last hurrah. So our captivity is almost over. Our slavery is nearly done. We ain't have no more big long slavery to go through again. Freedom is near. Alright, because you have a shy come to set what the captives free. Okay, you said that in the book of Mark Mark Luke chapter four. Verse 18, I read from 17, it says, And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah, or it says Isaiah, but it's Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, 
he found the place where it was written the reason why it say Isaiah is because new testament was translated from the greek to the english all right whereas the old was from the hebrew to the english it says and this is what was written in the book and this is why our shai said all right the spirit of the lord is upon me because he had anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he had sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance deliverance to the captives and the captives was the Israelites, is the Israelites, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Which is us, full with wounds and putrefying sores. Um, the poor man at Lazarus gate, at the beggar, all right, at um, the king's gate, Lazarus, and the beggar to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book and he gave it again to the minister and sat down and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears. Because it was written of him. He, it was speaking about this through him. All right. The, the captives will be delivered. It's through him. The, the broken hearted will be healed. It's through him. The poor will hear the gospel. It's through him. The, the, the blind will receive back their sight. All right? The bruised will be um, um, liberated. It's through him. All right? This is why we need to have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in order to be delivered. They see Jake picking up a set of arms and guns and looking to burn down Esau Empire. we not on that. We do go down that road. The weapons of our warfare and not carnal we don't fight a carnal battle all right fight a spiritual battle because the battle was won by the edomites all right spiritually first okay hold on hold on hold on yeah so as i was saying that's why all right we have to have faith in our shia mashia all right in order to be saved in order we cannot fight this or carnally so we don't we don't study that fight the battle was already won by the edomite spiritually the fact that he kept us away from me god that is that is the fight he fight we fuck shooting me down in the streets that is how we could get to shoot me down in the street because he kept us away from our spiritual power that's the only reason he know he, and he know that teaching us to be niggas teaching us to be to be you know Worthless pieces of shit on the face of the earth. That is, that, that, that. He taught us that way of life. He gave us the, this, the, the, these uh, um, um, things. Because all of that was the spiritual side to the battle. <coughs> so that he could physically enslave you. He could physically, alright, um, uh, um, put you, um, shoot you down in the streets and kill you. And the reason why most are allowing him to do that is because you jakes not listening and you don't want to repent and turn back on him and the most i give him the give, give him the green light or you gonna give him it on a bigger scale all right a sword a sword is sharpened it is sharpened to make us a sword slaughter should we then make more see kill 21 verse 9 and you jake's going and see how dread this devil could really be because all you do not want to listen all your hard are hearing, all your dull are hearing. Alright? But the elect, the believers, will hear and will hearken because Yahweh Shai say, of all that the Father has given him, he lost none. Yahweh Shai said in the book of John, the 10th chapter, My sheep hear my voice, alright? And they follow me. And a stranger will they not follow. Alright? And he says, if if father have them in his hand and no man is able to pluck them out of his father's hand, nobody could fight with the heavenly father to take what is the Lord own. Okay? And we reach into the days where these Edomites with the proud self going and tell themselves they could fight against the heavenly father. <laughs> that is how proud this man is. This man super proud, huh? He's so super he's so telling himself right now he have a winnable chance. But fighting with God and as a man and wow. This is the man who will in the face of the earth right now. You people don't know the kind of fucking pride this man have. 
This man proud. <laughs> this man proud. You know, son, but ready, let's so go back and, you know, read um, Book of Lamentations, the fourth chapter. Read from verse 22. It says, The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. <coughs> o daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. So, when we punishment of your iniquity accomplished, but we get into that point, all right. The fact that we turn him back and we 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 are repenting and calling on the name of, of our power again, the captivity coming to the point of ending, coming to the point of being accomplished. Because I'll pull out Deuteronomy 30 verse 7, but I'm gonna read Deuteronomy 30 verse 1 seven all right and it says and it shall come to pass Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1 when all these things are come upon thee the blessing and the curse which I have said before thee and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations with Yahweh thy power had driven thee and shall return unto Yahweh thy power and shall obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day that thou and thy children with all thine heart and with all thy soul, that then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity. And that is what's going on right now. Because through our Bivens, which we believe and know, is Elijah the prophet who came to do what? Turn the heart of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to the fathers. Alright? That is what's going on. Alright? Which he was John the Baptist as well. We believe that to be him. We know that to be him. Alright. So our children. Alright. We, we, our fathers. We get them with the elders. The apostles and them. And the children. Hearts being turned back to the heavenly father. Right now. The younger ones. But it's mainly dealing with the elect. Alright. And it have a lot of jakes. Alright. Waking up all over the face of the earth. Come. Stand back to call on the name of the heavenly father. All over the earth. All over the earth. It says, Then Yahweh thy power will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither Yahweh thy power hath scattered thee. And that is the come up hither in Revelation 11. Alright? Come up hither. When the, and, the, and they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and all their enemies beheld them. Alright, Revelation 11, chapter, around the 12th verse, 12, 13 verse. 11, 12, 13 verse, it says, And if any of thine be driven out unto the outmost parts of heaven, from thence will Yahweh thy power gather thee, from thence will he fetch thee, and Yahweh Bashami will shy thy power will bring thee into the land which thy fathers possessed and thou shalt possess it and he will do thee good and multiply thee above thy fathers this is under the new covenant all right that is underneath the new covenant okay it says and yahweh basham yahushai thy power will circumcise thine heart and the heart of thy seed to love Yahweh Basham Yahushai thy power with all thine heart and with all thy soul that thou mayest live. And Yahweh Basham Yahushai thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee which persecuted thee. Okay? So that is what is coming. We are almost out of captivity. Alright? And Esau going and going to it. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. He that, if any man hath an ear to hear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with his sword must be killed with his sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Lamentations 4 and 21. And I will close. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. You will no more carry thee away into captivity. You will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So Edom would be our last captivity. 
would, so that means the Edomite still here. And with that, I will give all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashamah, Shai Ba'ashamah Ka'akwadash. Shalom.